Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Cheryl. If you're new, welcome to the C-Squad. And if you're a chain subscriber, thank you so much for joining me again. Today we're back with another haul. If you've watched my life update, then you know that I've recently started my first 9 to 5. So today we're going to be trying out some workwear clothing from Timu. I'm super excited. I've never tried anything out from Timu before. So we're about to see how it goes. Thank you so much to Timu for hooking me up with a voucher to go shopping on their site. But of course, as always, I will be giving you my honest opinions of these items. All items tried on in this video will be linked down below in the description box and I will also have a discount code to use at checkout for 30% off for new users of the Timu app. When you get to the end of this video, comment down below and let me know what your favorite item is. Before we get into it, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more lifestyle videos and vlogs. And without further ado, let's get straight into it. So for workwear attire, of course I had to get a skirt. So this first item is a houndstooth pencil skirt. I actually have a mini skirt with this houndstooth print. So I was excited when I saw this because obviously it is a little bit longer, a bit more work appropriate. But I definitely think the print is really cute, so I'm excited to try this on. Ooh, I'm already excited about this. To pair with it, we've just got this plain black button-up shirt. Once again, very workwear appropriate. I like this because it is a thinner material, so I think for the fall weather when it's gearing towards winter, this will be really nice because I won't get super hot, but at least it is long sleeve so I won't get too cold in the office if the AC is running. So let's see how this pairs together. Okay so here's the fit on. I definitely don't think I would pair these together. I think this top definitely works better with maybe some pants so that's really more of the vibe but I think also because I've never had an actual 9 to 5 and I've never worn workwear clothing I think it's just really odd seeing me in workwear clothing so I feel weird but like otherwise it's pretty fine. The one thing I will say though is the skirt is quite stretchy and quite loose. I got it in a size small slash eight, but I definitely would recommend sizing down because right here on my waist, I have a bit of material left over. So definitely be mindful of that. The material of the skirt is just a little bit thin, which I think works for the summer. Maybe for the fall and winter, it's best to wear some tights underneath. Obviously with Timu, you're getting affordable clothing, so it's not going to be like super thick material like maybe some other brands. But I do think for the price, it was only nine pounds. I think it looks pretty good. Good. and I think a different top would complement it better. Also, I do like the length. It is way past my knees, so that is great, super appropriate. It also has a slit at the back, which I think is super cute, kind of gives it a little oomph to the design. And of course, as I said before, I do love the print and the design. As for the top, I really like the fit. It's a little bit loose in the arms, which is kind of what I was going for, and it kind of gives the silk impression for an affordable price, so that's great. Seeing myself in a button-up shirt and collar is so weird to me. The last time I wore a collared shirt was like in high school and that was like seven years ago. So this is really weird for me. But I do think the top is cute and I can't wait to see what it looks like with some pants on. Next up, I got some loafers. To be honest, these look better than what I expected. I only have one other pair of shoes that are appropriate for work and it's just a set of pumps. When I went on Pinterest for some inspo for workwear outfits, a bunch of people were wearing loafers, so I thought, let me take a crack at it. These are a size six, if you're wondering. Moment of truth. So I like these so far, especially for the price, they were only 15 pounds. Only issue I'm having is that they're a little bit too big for my feet. So that's gonna be an issue, but it's fine. I think if I stuff like socks in the front or something, these are passable. I do like them and I think they look professional and cute. And I like that they give me a little bit of height because I'm only five foot, so I could really use the extra help. I've stuffed some socks in the front and done a bit of like a walking test. They're pretty comfortable to walk in. Granted, I haven't walked in them for a very long time, also, even though I've stuffed them in the front, they are still a little bit big on top. So like where the top of the shoe is, it doesn't meet my feet. So for me, it's just a size issue. For the price, I think I'm pretty happy with them. Okay, for the next item, I've changed into some gray work pants. I feel like this pairing fits so much better together. How many videos have I been saying, I need to get a belt, I need to get a belt? Well, today's the day. I have a belt right here. 
So it's just a plain black belt, super affordable. It was two pounds. Okay, I like this belt. I usually have issues with belts where there aren't enough holes on the belt loop. So I end up having to make my own and that is just too much energy and too much time. There are actually four more holes in this belt so you can get it pretty tight. I feel like that just brought the look all together. This with my loafers and I'm ready for my 9 a.m. Monday morning meeting. Okay, so my last two items are some more button shirts. I just really thought button shirts might be the vibe. So I decided to get patterns on them just to make them a little bit more fun and exciting. So first up, we've got this white one. I don't really know what the pattern is, but it just looked a little bit more interesting. I honestly went back and forth about getting like a plain white one, but I just thought this might just be a little bit more fun. And I feel like the button up shirts are so versatile because I can roll up my sleeves in the summer and then have it be like a full long sleeve in the fall and winter. Okay, so I didn't have the energy to do the short sleeve look properly, but you guys get the idea. It's very versatile. You can have your arms out like this, or you can do the full length sleeve look as well. I actually like this top. I was a little bit nervous. I thought it might be a little bit see-through, but I'm not really having that issue, especially because I'm wearing black underneath. So I'm happy about that. I definitely think the design is fun, yet still professional. So I love that. I probably would wear it with some black work pants instead, but I think the gray works as well. And this is what it looks like as a long sleeve. Once again, a nice loose fit. It's comfortable. It's breathable. I don't know if I would ever do the top like this. I think that's a little bit too much, but I definitely think like this, some gold jewelry. It's a vibe. Then we have a black this is the moment where I've just realized that this is not a button-up shirt. It is just a blouse. There are no buttons over here, which is fine by me because doing buttons is hella annoying anyway. But that's a plot twist because I thought it was a button-up shirt. Ooh. I wasn't sure how I was going to feel about this at first, but I actually really like it. I think it's a fun pattern, a little bit of a fun design. Honestly, this color is kind of confusing me because I think it's black, but it kind of just looks like a very deep navy blue to me as well. So I don't know if I'm just having trouble seeing colors, but that is what it looks like to me. Just like a really, really deep navy blue. As I've said before, very happy to not do buttons. I can't even do the buttons here right now. I just tried to do these for five minutes and it was just getting to be too much. So I gave up on that. I think this is a convenient top to wear for that reason. I also like the V at the top. It's not too deep and it's not too high either. I think it works pretty well. I feel quite professional, but still like a little bit fun as well. I'm gonna change into my favorite piece as I usually do to film the outro. This black top is definitely my favorite piece of the day. It's giving professional on a budget and I love it. Comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was. Don't forget to check out the description box for all the items I've tried on today and for the discount code for 30% off of their site. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to join the C-Squad and hit that notification bell to be notified when I upload new videos. I will see you guys in my next one. Bye!